What's going on guys? Stun Rod. We're gonna do a chrome delete on my uh, C7 Corvette. Um, the front grille's got a chrome chrome strip across uh, about 51 inches and about an inch and a quarter thick. So we're gonna um, matte black that out. I was gonna do gloss black, but they didn't have gloss black at the place I was at, but it's still cool. Um, I got matte black in that, in that same length. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna show you the tools that I use to do this whole thing. And then uh, hopefully, you know, it kind of be like a DIY. And hopefully you guys can do the same to your vet if uh, you get the chance. Or when you get the chance, you know, save you some bread. So this is what I'm going to use. Uh, these are the tools I'm going to use. Squeegee, you can get this at AutoZone. It came with an interior kit and it's got some other things for interior, like to take them out. Exactly nice scalpel. I'd like, I want this because I feel that uh, I'll be able to get in multiple crevices. This is going to be my last time doing this and ho hopefully I can, you know, do a lot more of this. Uh, hair blow dryer, everybody and their mama got this. And this is my strip of vinyl, which is about 51 to 52 inches. That's going to cover uh, that chrome or silver strip, whatever you want to call it. I already scrubbed it down with soap and water, um, and I use rubber alcohol so I can get the unseen dirt particles off and stuff like that, you know, so we get our maximum ease in this. Uh, so, you know, it's not rocket science, we're gonna do this. Um, shoot, let's go ahead. Yeah, so she's cleaning enough. Ignore my, uh, ignore my little rock chips and stuff, you know. She ain't perfect, but I like her, so. Like I said though, um, pretty much we're gonna, um, that's the chrome, that's the chrome strip I'm talking about right here. I'm not really feeling that. It's, it looked good, it looked good with the car, but no, we going blacked out cause for, you know, what we gotta do ultimately to the vehicle, it's gotta go. So that's the first thing, first and cheapest thing, first and cheapest ex uh, exterior uh, um, modification. So, we're gonna do that. Uh, and like I said, I already scrubbed it down with soap and water and I um, hit it with rubbing alcohol. So, let's get to it. I got the uh, extension cord and we're gonna, we gonna, we gonna bang this puppy out so I can enjoy this day on Sunday. Oh, cool. So, supposedly, um, Supposedly, you know, a heat a heat dryer, blow dryer, you know, they both work the same pretty much. It, and you want to have it on like the lowest setting. Um, so, first things first, from all the tutorials I've seen when I was, you know, inquiring about this, we got to actually take the vinyl off. It's the scariest part. And I don't want to get anything on it. Backside. Also, I got excess vinyl more than the amount of area I needed, longer at least, longer and thicker. Why? Fine with me. I spend the extra bread just to make sure I got some gear, some play in it. Don't be afraid to take it off and rework it if you feel like it's not how you want it. Not too many times. You get what I'm saying. Yes. Got most of this off now. I mean, about 50% of it off. I should have took it before and after. That's fine. Matter of fact, I'm going to take it before and after. All right, so it's um, I got the whole strip on there, you know, um, and I cut it, you know, accordingly, tailored it. And now we're gonna get the air bubbles out and uh, the, trim the excess off. All right, so um, so I got like maybe about a quarter of the uh, driver's side done. Um, yeah, got about a quarter of the driver's side done. What I will know, it's it's not that hard of a process, but um, you you know it depends on 
depends depends on your uh you know your level of perfection you wanted that i prefer as perfect as possible even if i'm paying for it and doing myself so uh things i noticed like um i don't know if you can see right here it's kind of got a bubble it's a little raised um yep right here things like this these are bubbles that's not what you that's what you don't want and as you can see this side is pretty much perfect to the contour of the trim the way i did that was by making sure every time i tried to hit these with the uh, squeegee i would just re take it off and reapply the uh vinyl if necessary and then re-squeeze it out it also you know it re takes it out so you re you're remolding it and the heat is helping it remold also to the new shape so that's how i got this side to be pretty perfect uh it's got a part i would like to tuck in here a little more but you know i'm gonna apply more heat and i'm gonna go back on that in a second so i got a little bit more to go about 75 percent and yeah, you know i'm happy though so far Okay, so how I'm cutting it is I'm pretty much uh, I'm going towards like the uh, the closer side of uh, of the edge that uh, that is not the trim, if that makes sense. So boom, yeah, here's where the trim will start at, but I'm I'm cutting up here along that top line like that, like so, as much as possible, as much as it will let me. It's time to peel off the excess. I'm gonna peel off the excess, um, hit it with the heat one more time and squeegee it, and that should be like pretty perfect. Um, but here, here's the peel process. So. bad so far honestly okay that ain't bad that is not bad totally different totally different animal now not the same okay we're gonna do these last little bit of tucks and then that's it, but that, that look hard. That's what I wanted it to look like. Straight blacked out grill. So we did it. Uh, finally completed it. Hold on, let me do a little. I'm going to get the close ups and all, all full walk around show you guys what other stuff I plan on doing with this whatever the things I'm black out or whatever so so yeah like I said uh I'm done I am I am done I feel like I did a good job I'll show you guys uh sucking it, the whole process is pretty easy um but I think this is definitely something I could do you know for you know fun and just for money purposes so um let me show you guys the new and improved c7 grill that all black look so dope so damn dope 
No, I'm, I'm still debating whether I want to black out the, uh, the vents. Because honestly, with the vents being body color, it looks cool on the silver car. And especially the lights in the back with no black on there. I think that looks more uh, Corvette-ish, legitly, so. I don't really want to tell y'all what color I'm coming, you know, just I'm gonna just say it's my favorite color cuz I thought about all the types of color vets you've seen. I love I love the Sabrang orange I really would like a light metallic blue But it's I got a color this that you've never seen in vets like commonly, you know what I'm saying? Yeah aftermarket or whatever paint wise, you know, so but What I'm choosing is going it's gonna be nice. So and I think I'm gonna do the calipers too. I'm gonna do them. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna actually wrap the calipers. See if I can do that. You know, instead of painting them next time. So I don't gotta wait the whole dry process. We're gonna try that. And um, hopefully I get a transparent roof. Yeah, we game. So you know, good luck on watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.